personnel and some internally displaced persons have benefited from empowerment materials, food and non-food items in Maduguri, the state capital. The gesture is towards improving the livelihood of those in need. CBC News' Jesse Tafida reports. 34-year-old Hadiza Muhammad is a widow with three children. Her husband died from friendly fire while fighting Boko Haram insurgents. She shares with TVC News her ordeal. My husband is so lovely, caring man. The day that I had this news that what happened to him, like his own accident is misfiring by his fellow soldier, is a gunshot. I'm in view on my way coming back from Kaduna to Medoguri, I had the news, very sad news. Since then, this has not really in order for me. The army paid the children's sponsorship, but it's one in a year. Hadiza is happy today to be part of the lucky ones that will be empowered. They empower me. I pray I will use, I will use it in my business. I pray God will raise me up. And I will not fall our mommy down. I will use it to be smiling. Inshallah. These other widows here are beneficiaries of this same gesture, just like Hadiza. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I'm happy. And, you know, they can make use of this. If you come here, you give them 50000 They will eat it and forget about it. But they can make money out of this machine. The government cannot do it alone. That is the reason I'm going around to help. We want to really... Thank you for this uh, wonderful gesture. We pray God continue to enrich you and empower you to be able to do more. Wounded soldiers who were responding to treatment were also given wheelchairs and crutches. Nursing mothers who are IDPs equally receive maternity kits and food items. The Nigerian army put their lives on the line every day to protect the territorial integrity of the nation. In doing that, most of them have paid the supreme prize. Government have continued to remember the families of the fallen heroes. Nigerians are urged to also do same, to put a smile on the faces of the families of the fallen heroes. Jesse Tofida, TVC News, Maiduguri.